come and play heads or tails with me, beckons the narcissist seductively. What's in it for me, you ask? Oh, they reply, I will be everything you ever dreamed of. And what if I lose, you ask? Oh, not much, they smile. You'll just get a small electric shock. And then you can play again. I can play again, you ask? Oh yes, you can play again. As many times as you like. So you think, that sounds like a rather good game. I mean, what is the risk of an electric shock when you can win everything you ever dreamed of and you have a 50% chance of winning? I mean, even if you are very unlucky, what will it be? Three, four electric shocks maximum before you get everything you ever dreamed of. But you want to be sure. Will I really be getting? You start. And for every item you mention, the narcissist smiles and says, Oh yes, absolutely. That is exactly what you will be getting. Definitely. I was exactly going to be offering that to you because that is exactly who I am. You have just described me. It's uncanny how you have been able to describe me right down to the T. This is exactly what you're getting. And you are amazed. This seems too good to be true. After all, the wins you have are all of your dreams come true. And the price you pay is merely a small electric shock. Let's do it, you smile. You shake hands. The narcissist takes a coin and asks you, heads or tails? You breathe and you say, heads. They flip the coin. They catch the coin, put it on the hand. They look and they say, you lose. And they press a button and you get a shock. Play again, they smile. Yes, you say, a little bit shaken. It hurt a bit more than you expected, but it was tolerable. Heads or tails, you decide heads again, because you feel that heads is going to be a lucky call. And so they take the coin, they flip it, the coin spins in the air, they catch it, put it on their hand, they look and go, tails. They press a button and again you have an electric shock. It seemed a bit more painful than the last time. Not impossible, but maybe you're just imagining things. Play again, they smile. Yes, you're a bit shaken. Let's try tails. Okay, they say. They take the coin, they spin it. You watch it spin slowly through the air. You don't recognize where the coin is from, you haven't seen such a coin before. They catch the coin. On the hand, they look. Heads, they smirk at you, and they press the button. Twice. You're shaken. Play again, and you think, I've lost three times. Surely I'm going to be winning soon. Heads or tails, they ask. And the game goes on. Systematically, every single time you get it wrong. You lose count after the 20th. Or maybe the 30th time you're no longer sure. But the electric shocks seem to be more painful than when you started. Your energy is dropping, you're feeling weakened, you're feeling that your body is struggling, but yet you think, if only I can keep going, then I will be able to win everything I dreamed of. As the game goes on, you react more strongly. They look at you and go, shh, but they smile. Don't make so much noise. I don't like that. And you feel bad, you feel guilty that you are reacting in a way that might make them go away. After everything you've been through, it is not the right time for them to go away, so you try to keep it inside. And the more throws they are, every time you're getting it wrong, the more it seems to hurt you, the more they smirk. And as you recover from the latest shock, you realize you have never actually seen the coin landing on the hand. They always were shielding the coin, 
with the other hand. And so you ask them, could I see the coin on your hand? And they look at you with scorn and they snarl, why? Don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? If you don't trust me, there's no point continuing the game. If you don't trust me, there will never be a future together. Would you like me to stop? We might as well stop. Let's just end it here. And so, in panic, you think of all of the shocks you just received, and you don't want it to have been for nothing. No, you plead. Please don't stop. Please, let's play again. Okay, they say as though they were doing you a concession. But don't you dare question me again, or I will stop the game entirely. If you don't trust me, there is no point playing after all. Which, ironically, is very true. And so they flip the coin again, and the game continues. But after a while, your energy is dropping. You're feeling weak. You don't know if your body can maintain this and you no longer react when you get the inevitable electric shock. I'm disappointed that you're getting it wrong all the time, they say. You must be a very unlucky person. I'm not sure that I like that. And so you feel desperate, and you decide to continue even more, even as your body is crying, stop, something strange is happening, this is not what it appears. But you do not want to let them down, so you keep going. But now, when the electric shocks come, you don't react anymore. And you see the look of disappointment on their face, pressing the button once, twice, three times, four times, and nothing. Finally, you crumble to the ground. Puzzled, you don't understand. But you look up, and you see they've turned around. They are playing the game with another person. What exactly will I be getting? Ask the other person. Everything you ever dreamed of, they reply. Will I really be getting? And the other person starts a list totally different to yours. And with every point they mention, the narcissist replies, Oh yes, absolutely, that is exactly what you will be getting. That is exactly who I am. It is uncanny that you know me so well when we have only just met. It feels like you are the person I've been waiting for all of my life. So, shall we play? And the other person says, yes. Heads or tails, asks the narcissist. Tails, they say. The narcissist takes the coin, flips the coin, catches it, looks, heads, and sends an electric shock. Shall we play again? The person is shaken. Yes, heads or tails. Heads, the narcissist takes the coin, flips the coin, drops the coin, and it rolls slowly towards you. You get to see both sides of the coin. And on neither side is the heads, nor tails. The coin was blank on both sides, all along. <laughs>